All right, so check this out. Here we are in one of my Mona spaces. This is a fantasy portal hub with portals to other universes. And let's get into how to navigate Mona. So first and foremost, you can move around by pressing your keyboard arrow keys, or you can press W, A, S, D. And I'll show you in a minute, you can pull up a screen where you can see those controls again to remind yourself. And you can hit space to jump. And if you have hit shift and an arrow key or WASD, you'll run. Whoops. Now, you can see that little dot right there below guest zero right over here. That's the reticle, kind of like the aiming sight on a gun or to let you know what you're pointing at, right? So here we are, we're pointing at this portal and you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it says Imagineering Lab by narcomatic letting you know what that portal goes to so we can actually remove that reticle maybe you want to create a video or you just don't like it by pressing the i key so that toggles the reticle and you can press it again to bring it back up and then if you want to play around with some emojis engaging with somebody you can press z to pull up the emojis and let me see let me... and you can see those coming off the top of my character right there. And then if you hit C, that's actually gonna open up your emotes and we can do a little bit of dancing here. And then if you move around, it'll disengage your emote. And uh, if you get stuck, you're moving your mouse around and you're like, oh, shoot, I need to use it to access a menu. You can just hit escape to regain control of your mouse. And now let's go over the stuff going on down here. Now, here's our chat window. So if you want to say hello to everybody, you can type it in there. Everybody's conversation will show up here. If you want to speak with audio, you can click speak. And now it's active. Everyone can hear you or you can mute yourself again. If you want to share the space so someone else can join you, you can click share and that's going to copy an invite link to the clipboard. You can go and paste that in an email message or whatever. And if you want to do a private hangout without everyone else that's in this space, it'll create a link for you for a private hangout so that you and whoever you want in there can be in there. Now, here's the avatar feature. You have several options. You can either go to your Mona wallet to pick an avatar that's already in your wallet that you've purchased or created or minted or whatever. And you can also use Ready Player Me, which we have some details about in the uh, list of helpful tips. So as you can see, I've clicked here. I can log in. I've already got a login. I've already have some characters that I've made, but you can create your character directly from this interface, create your a Ready Player Me account, and you'll be able to use that avatar on any platform that accepts Ready Player Me. Or if you create avatars or someone's given you one or you have one or whatever, and you have the .vrm file, you can actually paste it in here in the import custom VRM field and load your own custom character, which is what I've done to have this little custom guy that I've created with my Pixel Hustler logo t-shirt. Now, finally, uh, if you look at space info, that's just gonna give you details of the space that you're in and you can view it in the marketplace if you wanna buy it, assuming it's for sale, or to get more details about the artist and see more of their work. Then we've got uh, settings, which is obviously the settings. And like I mentioned, this is the panel where you can see all those instructions for WASD, using your mouse to look around, space to jump, and we have some parameters here to improve or decrease the quality of the imagery and effects and stuff so that it'll run smoothly on your computer. So you can change the camera sensitivity so for when you're looking around, whether it's very sensitive, moves very quickly all over the place, or it's a little bit steadier. Bloom is actually that glowing effect that you see going on in the background. And depending on your computer, you can see as I'm bringing it down in the background, so you can see that's turned off. Now let me show you if I turn it back on. And another way of accessing the settings is by hitting H. So I'm gonna hit H and I'm gonna turn on the bloom. Let's do it all the way up so that you could really see it. And you can see the bloom is way up. So the things that have this glowy kind of effect to it, bloom effect, 
will be accentuated even further. But that could really mess with the performance of your computer. So if your computer is running slow, you want to look at the bloom intensity. These by default, anti-lazing just makes things sharper, smoother on the edges and whatever. You can increase that if your computer can handle it, as well as the frame rate. But um, this is pretty good for performance on most people's computers. And then there's motion blur, just meaning that if you're moving around, people are moving around and they're doing it fast enough, there'll be a um, blur effect. Chromatic abrasion is another kind of effect that lends to a little bit of detail, some shadow accentuation and things. You'd have to play around with that to really get an idea of what that is. And then the field of view is just basically like how close or far away is our camera. So if I move it far away, you can see we're actually really far from our character right now. And then I can actually, on my touchpad, I can use two fingers to zoom in and out, or I can go back to clicking H, go to settings, and readjust my field of view. And then we've got some volume parameters here for the main volume. Maybe the space has some audio in the background, music or whatever, the chat volume, as well as if there's a live stream happening, a live stream video, you can modify the video, um, the volume of that as well. But yeah, so that's basically it. And then other than that, just be sure to look at objects and notice on the bottom right, if you see something, it could be an artifact, meaning it's an image or something like that, that you click on it and it takes you to the marketplace where it's for sale or it might be a link to a website for more information or in this instance it could be a portal so if i look at one of these right there and so i can see in the bottom right that takes me to the andromeda arena so if i click enter if i click to enter you can see we're now loading we've just gone through that portal and we're visiting a new space